wanted to talk to you this morning about humanism uh, from both the subject, subjective and objective viewpoint. Um, because it's kind of a heavy subject, I want to start and end this presentation with something light. So to start, this is a quote. Be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. Anybody know who said that? Dr. Seuss. Absolutely. <laughs> Theodore Geisel, Dr. Seuss. Cool, huh? Okay. Um, I was born an atheist, um, as I expect just about everybody is. We'll talk about that some other time. Um, but I've never been comfortable with the term. Both Webster and the Columbia Viking Desk Encyclopedia define atheist as one who denies the existence of God. Of course, this doesn't mean God doesn't exist, just that atheists deny his or her existence. Atheism, however, is the doctrine that there is no deity. The word I use to describe myself, since I'm not comfortable with the term atheist, is humanist. When people ask me what a humanist is, I say, depending on who they ask, is that a humanist is a person who lives a life based on logic and evidence, and thus denies supernaturalism, and or a humanist is an atheist who performs good works. A lot of us recently done a lot of, a lot of good stuff, huh? Yeah. Um, so, what has humanism done for me? <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. that's what happens when you do this right up to the last minute. Um, <laughs> I finished this morning. Um, okay, Humanist, humanism ended a great loneliness with which I carried my thoughts and hopes for many years. In fact, I didn't use the term atheist till I was about 25 years old. I started volunteer work when I was 29 years old and have never paused. In other words, Humanism has given my athe atheism direction and a purpose. And so, humanism has given me new values. Also, humanism has brought me the realization that complete intellectual freedom is vital to human progress. Um, I should tell you that about half of this presentation I wrote and a um, bit of it came from a pretty cool book some of you may have read, Humanism as the Next Step by Lloyd and Mary Moraine, and most of the rest of my presentation is kind of lifted from this part. Um, so, I'm gonna paraphrase some statements. Um, humanism provides us with three basic needs, mental and emotional security, ethical standards, and inspiration. What does humanism teach us? Humanism teaches us that there is an intrinsic, inalienable value, inalienable, sorry, inalienable value in all human beings, and that this value is our birthright. Humanism encourages us to feel that no matter who we are, we have untapped abilities, unknown potentialities, and more strength, inventiveness, and capacity for survival and progress than we know. We are to look for strength from not outside ourselves, but within. Number three, humanism teaches us to provide courage and comfort to one another. And number four, last but not least, humanism teaches us that the deepest sense of security comes from feeling ourselves an integral part of nature. How are we doing for time? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Um, I found something to add to this, but let me finish what I had written and then we'll ad lib a bit. Um, I'd like to conclude with some humor, uh, humor from Mark Twain. Uh, Mark Twain said that the difference between people who pray in a casino and people who pray in church is that the people who pray in a casino really mean it. <laughs> Now, since I've got a couple of minutes, um, 
was straightening up my house last night. It's about time we had a house party in my house potluck last Saturday, and I'm just getting the place back in order today. Um, it's not because of the company I had, it's because I'm a lousy housekeeper. Um, and uh, one of the books that I uh, put back where it belongs is um, called A Provocative People, A Secular History of the Jews. There are actually Jewish congregations in this country where they don't mention the Lord or God. And um, the author has some neat things to say about humanism, and I thought I would add to what I've already said with this. Um, Reason or science is the best method for the discovery of truth. The basic power for solving human problems is found within human beings, both individually and collectively. <coughs> Ethics derives from the human struggle for survival, happiness, and dignity. And the good life is the life of courage. It rests on the willingness to assume personal responsibility for justice, and the strength to accept the fact that this earthly life is the only one we have. Thank you.